Oh. And Auto Park tried to kill us. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be looking at the Auto Park feature and the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Let's see if it even replaces the need for me to ever need to squeeze into a small spot ever again. Well, let's give it a go. We're going to be trying the parallel park here. So we're going from the inside and also we're going, I'm going to be showing you from the outside how it does it. So we're going to press start. My feet isn't controlling uh, anything. However, I do have control of the wheel if need be. But as you see, the wheel is doing it by itself. And that's gonna be tight. This, this space is quite tight, but the Tesla has judged that it can do it. So it goes really close. Look at that, really close. And then it begins to, yeah, there we go. And very professionally. And probably one more move here. Very nicely done. That's really good. And I, and I had the confidence to not even touch the wheel or the brake or anything. And I, yeah, it will actually go back a little bit more. That's really good. Wow, that's actually really impressive. And as you see here, we can actually go ahead and get out. And so we've got quite a good amount of distance here. So if there was someone parked behind this guy, it would be enough to, to reverse out and vice versa for here. Um, we have got a good amount of distance which uh, which is really good. So, I mean, when I drove past this, we didn't think that it would fit. What I wanted to show is how Auto Park actually comes up on the dash. You have to go at about uh, one to five miles an hour past some spots, and then the, the car will pick it up. As you see, there is a P there. You shift it into reverse, press start, and then it will do its thing. We're going to be shifting into reverse to try a bay parking maneuver. Now, as you saw by the parallel park, it is very, very smooth, at least in my opinion. So we're now beginning the process. Again, my hand and feet aren't, uh, well, they do have control of the vehicle if need be, but I am on purpose not doing anything. But as you see, I have got my hand here. Now, this, that's pretty impressive, actually, I'm not going to lie. I like that it, it goes as far back as possible, even though it's really slow. It goes back really like as as much as it can, and then it decides to do another maneuver. But, and it's pretty accurate in terms of the, the way the vehicle is, you know, in precise, or, or whether it's straight or not. But it doesn't actually straighten up if it doesn't have to. We will do the same thing. Let's go ahead and get out and see. We are a good distance away from this car here a little bit close to this line actually could probably be a little bit better but I don't think well, I might be mistaken but I don't think that the the cameras pick up the lines I think it just sees the distance between the two vehicles but uh, I could be mistaken there but uh, probably could go back a little bit more but in terms of whether it helps people who aren't so good at bay parking I definitely think so so I wanted to show you guys another clip here. It's me trying to find or trying to f make the Tesla find a spot suitable for the auto park feature to actually start functioning. So it is a little bit difficult sometimes in a very irregular car park for the car to actually realize that this spot is available as a spot or this spot is not a spot. As you see, here's me going all the way back. I tried to be as slow and as precise as possible and as close as possible to the nearest cars there for the spot to be picked up. And it did at the end pick it up. As you see here, the P just comes up. So I notice it, I press it, shift it into reverse and I press start. There's something to note here. If the car park is irregular, as mentioned before, the car won't actually park as nicely as you would imagine it would. So in the previous clip of the Bay Park, you can see that it didn't park so straight according to the Tesla and it was quite close to the line. Now, because it kind of guesses the distance between the two vehicles, it tries to place itself in the middle between them. So if someone is parking next to you not so well, 
it will park on the line. Another thing to actually note here, and this was the clip you saw right at the start, auto park doesn't always work. It, it kind of has a mind of its own. And as you'll see here, the Tesla kind of decides it doesn't want to do it anymore, and then just randomly stops. And there's nothing you can do about it, it just aborts it. But there you go, this was a demonstration of the auto park feature on the Tesla Model 3. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much for watching.